Hello, my name is Stevie Martin with the VIA Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about how to use the teleporter capability in the VIA Live Engage Release 3.0 on-premise software environments. In some of the VIA Live Engage on-premise software environments, you will find a tool called the teleporter. What the teleporter does, it launches a URL that allows you to travel from one VIA Live Engage environment to another and can be configured by users with administrative access to that environment. You will not find the teleporter in all the standard environments and in, in the standard environments where it is available, depending on the floor plan, it may or may not be visible to the users in that environment. Also in environments where it is available, you'll find it in different locations from one environment to the other. In the Vine Live Engage on-premise software environments that have multiple floor plans, you would go into the administrative panel under the environment tab and then you would scroll down to floor plans. If an environment has multiple floor plans, you would select between them for which floor plan you want to use. Some floor plans, as in the loft environment which we're looking at right now, you have three possible floor plans and one of them will have the teleporter. If you select it, we'll enable it and show its location in the floor plan. In some environments, there may only be one floor plan available, such as the one you see in front of you. But that floor plan may have a teleporter located in it. In some of these environments, you're then able to remove the teleporter directly from the environment itself. The floor plan we just looked at is for the bridges environment. This particular standard environment has only one floor plan and the teleporter is included. In this example of what you can do in an environment if you create one, you can have the ability to modify the teleporter from inside the environment cell if you have administrative access. For the bridges environment, if you're in front of the teleporter, you see two small circles on the floor. These are the on and off button for the teleporter. Select the one will make the teleporter appear. Selecting the other one will make it disappear and not be available to the users in the environment. One last example of a floor plan is the Apex standard floor plan. This one's an example where you don't have no floor plan to choose at all, but it has the same effect as the bridges when we just looked at. There's only one floor plan available, and this particular one also has a teleporter in it. The Apex example of an environment that you cannot delete the teleporter from. If you're using a standard environment like this and had questions, concerns about the teleporter, then you contact your VIA representative to resolve any potential issue. As mentioned earlier, if you have administrators access to the environment, you can configure the teleporter. If you right click on a teleporter, you'll see an option to upload file or upload from clipboard. This allows you to upload an image directly to the environment that's stored on the ViaLive Engage desktop. If you go into options, you can set the image URL if the image is going to reside elsewhere, and you can set the launch URL. This launch URL is your destination that you'd be taken to once you set it. One other item to note in this options list is you can delete the setup by delete image and URLs and it'll wipe everything that you entered. When you enter the launch URL, you can tell the teleporter how you want it to launch. You can attempt to launch in a new window, attempt to launch a new tab, and launch in current window. The recommendation is you always select launch in current window. If you launch it in a new tab or new window, then you'll have two environments open, which is fine if that's your intention, but it can be a drain of the resources on your laptop or PC. You can tell how many environments you have running by looking at the taskbar on your PC for the small red Avaya Live Engage icon. There's one more minor item to note. When you launch an environment, you may occasionally get an error message from your browser about the pop-up blocker. The pop-up blocker needs to be turned off in order for the new environment to launch. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor.avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.